What up, what up, Wheatfield? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? This is your girl, La T, with Tears and Wheat to Rose. Show where you show enough, never know what you gonna get. Today, y'all, is a wonderful top of the week Wednesday, and I am not dressed. I'll show you. Just not. I mean, I laid in the bed for the uh, first two and a half, three hours of the morning, did some meditation. Uh, Yep, yep, did some meditation, sat in the spirit, did some engagement, some networking, some sharing, some caring, you know how it go. One of my beloved wheats came through, she always come through, she call it Wheat Wednesday, I love it, I love it, I love it, I think it's so cute. Thank you so much for all of your love and kindness and support, the channel is growing, I'm so excited, um, it's gonna do what it's gonna do. I say, Father got this well in its hands. So, we just going to keep on doing what we do and let the rest take care of itself, okay? Welcome, welcome, my wheat. Welcome, welcome back to the wheat field, my wheat. How y'all doing, Jaws Wheat? Uh, if you knew, if you knew, welcome. Welcome to you, too. Come on up in here. Come on into this space. Don't click off. Don't leave. I know it could be like, to what? You know what I mean? What's going on? I'm supposed to be watching a read. Huh. Just hang on in there with your girl. We got some disclaimers to get through. I need to welcome you. Welcome you if you knew. And I need to let you know a few things. Just one or two, because you might not want to stay by the time I get finished saying everything it is to say. Just saying. This is a free and open space. I don't judge you. You don't judge me. I mean, that's just what it is. And uh, the message is what it is. We study world theologies. We are not religious at all. You see, we are spiritual, spiritual connection. And we do everything in the spirit, everything. So I scribe, I channel. We have cards. We have crystals. Most High says what it wants to say. And that's what we say. We China with the big three, as I call them, the eternal Lord of all of creation, the infinite intelligence, its mind, the mind of the creator, right, that it used to make all things, and the breath of life that connects and binds it all. Creation has a word on it, and we read creation. All of that to say that. Again, we are spiritual, not religious, and creation speaks She's not vulgar, but she damn sure cuss. Okay? So, the shit comes out. Just want you to know. And you can have some faith on what you're seeing and what you're hearing right now. Hang on in there. Stick around. Stick around. It could be like cold Crisco. You see, I'm in my pajamas. We don't know which way it's going to go. We have to get it out the can and put it in the pan. The most I come in and put some heat on it, do, do, and we get to cooking. I mean, sometimes we cooking up uh, some, 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 some something we can drop some nuggets off into, you know what I mean? A couple of pieces of whiting or some red snapper, you know, something like that, some wings. Or, you know, sometimes it just be slow, you know, like we sauteing some potatoes and some onions or something, you know what I mean? Just gotta let that thing go. We'll see what happens. You know, it's a ride. It's a ride. So if you can stick around, if you can vibe, subscribe, subscribe. Sharing is caring. If it's something that you end up caring about, share it out. And if you want to come back on a daily and get this bell, come on in here. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. And your thumbprint, your thumbprint is good too. It helps me pick up your energy so I can pick up on you. Why do we do this? Because we the wheat, baby. We the wheat. We called for good bread. But the tares are sown in. So to look at what's coming at us or in us that, you know, is afflicting or affecting us is the work. We do that work so that we can edify self, so that we can edify the source, our eternal Lord of all of creation. And, you know, we serve that edification out to the wheat field. You become edified and edify the source. We come together over these principles. You know what I mean? Magnify ourselves. Grow it. Grow the energy. Expand. Expansive. You know? And then we serve that up to the source. Because, again, we call it for the good bread. We are the wheat. So, y'all ready to jump into it? We got to pray. We got to get a sip first. Always got to have a sip. Father say we still working on the theme of faith. Father has pulled this faith cup three times. This is the third time this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, faith. Father say work on some faith. Faith season, because everything is for a reason. So have some faith in this season. 
I got a song stuck in my head. It is Jai Hames. Gotta find my way back, way back to you, baby. Gotta find my way back, way back. I ain't gonna kill y'all with the voice. I sing like nobody's listening, okay? <laughs> so, and just to let you know, I am not the Twin Flame Karmic Relief channel i'm not i will read your energetic match because i believe that we come together boom and purpose you got your male on one you got your female your divine match your divine femme however y'all want to slice it and they come together who is on you like the outside the inside i'll be feeling like so go with your girl these i'll be having analogies and metaphors or whatever so just Open your mind up to what I'm trying to say here. So, this is the outer, outside of my hand. This is the inside. The inside, the outer, the inner. So, the inside is my spirit. It's God, my highest self, right? So, that is what is on the inside. Inside of this mask, right? Masculine, feminine, outside, inside is the spirit. Same thing. What brings them together? The spirit. Boom. Attracts. And it brings them both and binds them both. So that is my analogy on how we submit in marriages and relationships. We submit onto our highest self and be aligned in our purpose. And in that purpose alignment, you will attract spiritual attraction to your energetic mate. The person that you are designed to be with, to do the work. What work? Heaven coming to earth, in earth, on earth, to do a work. And that work, we remember not. We have to be called into remembrance. We journey through this plane, calling in experiences onto self, to edify self, so that we can be strong and we can step into the purpose. And all of these things are happening at the same time because you don't remember what you already know kind of gets wiped clean when you slide up in this piece as an infant. Then you get all these experiences and teachings from your stewards, your family, your friends, your environment, your culture, your heritage, and all these conformities get placed on you. And you have to go through and discover the real you so that you can get back into what you're supposed to do. What you don't remember, right? So your spirit had to bring it out, boom, put it into the forefront have it in its heart space, get you in the rhythm, into the flow. And then once you start moving in that direction, I believe that you and your mate will be doing this. And then you converge and come together. And what God has put it together, let no man pull asunder. No man. So it doesn't matter what happens. If you two are meant, if you are designed, this is what's going to happen. As long as y'all work walking along the path, you know, so it can be good and can be healthy. So, with that being said, like I said, I was hearing Jaheem's Gotta Find My Way Back. So, I feel like this is for something that is coming from back here and going this way, coming back. So, I feel like, yeah, two people are getting ready to come together. Two people are getting ready to meet. Yes. So, are you prepared? To me, are you prepared? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you too good with self? Like, have you done the work, the shadow work? And is there other pieces of work that remain to be done? So in this season, while you are in preparation, we are in winter. We are in the spirit, in the state of rest and reflection, right? And while we're resting and reflecting, there is work to be done. Like, creation is not dormant. She's not. Creation is reading the information that she has attained over the last cycle. She's determining and discern discerning what is good for evolution, for adaptation, for the going forward that will strengthen the seed, the purpose, the legacy that she's going to birth in the spring. So just like when, you know mothers give birth to children it, it doesn't just you know i'm pregnant today and pop out no there's a period of gestation there's a period of development there is a period that where all of that intelligence is coming together and combining and developing that which will be birth so um uh, yeah it's not just the budding in the spring 
this winter is highly important. It is all of the underground work that is to be done before you can birth out. And what you do birth out is predicated on the work that's being done right now. How are you discerning? How are you digesting? How are you clearing your solar plexus chakra? How are you aligning yourself based on what just happened in the last cycle? You've taken on a lot of energy. You've taken on a lot of information. You've received and gone through a lot of things. And to discern that, to break it down, to heal, to rest, to reflect is highly important that way you can continue on your journey on your purpose path because you have a helpmate and I hear it's probably something from the past because I hear gotta find my way back way back to you baby trying to find my way back way back Somebody got some faith on the comeback. Ah, right, let's get into it. We're going to take a sip. We're going to break it. We're going to slay it. I shake. Let's do it. Y'all, I am a coffee nut. I love coffee. But I make some... Source, Father, thank you. Make some homemade whipped cream and it's like the easiest thing it's three ingredients heavy whipping cream powdered sugar and whatever flavor extract you want and when i say i got strawberry rum orange vanilla coconut what else we got lemon do we have lemon i think we got lemon we got some other stuff now, i can't remember i'm pretty sure that might be it that might be close but anywho you talking about you can't get none of that from the grocery store. To what? And inflation say who? Eggs is $9, $10 for some eggs. Fuck the change. By the time you add some tax on them shits, it's $10 for a carton of fucking eggs. I need to raise chickens. Maybe that's my damn purpose. I get a farm and raise chickens and vegetables. Okay? Because it's hard. I mean, look. I like bread. And I like shit you need eggs for i'm just saying i don't know i'm about to become a vegan in this piece like i was spending all my money on veggies and lentils and grains and shit i clean some shit out i'm gonna go on the 30 day fast and save on this grocery bill i'm just saying like, father father provides father provides all of my needs are met all of my needs are met i call back the energy of any seed that i have spent any seed i call my energy back i call my energy back keep the currency flowing keep it coming keep it coming yes call that seed back every time you buy them eggs you spend that ten dollars you be like you give them the ten they be like Ooh, I call my energy back. I call it back. I call it back. Give my energy back, back, back. On to me. It belongs to me. Okay. Oh, all right. I say, I say. But I say, laugh out loud. Look, y'all, I promise you, if I can have like a whole little thing where we all, somebody follow me around, not because y'all are being tripping like how much I talk to them. The spirit guy all day. <laughs> we be laughing. He talk, <laughs> showed me stuff that I would have never even thought about. Stuff that I didn't even know exists. Like, I mean, take me through my cell phone and put on props that I didn't even know was there. I don't know how to work this stuff. <laughs> Father be doing everything. Uh-uh. And -uh. then what take Look. Because it could be a conflict. Because, like, especially if sources is scribing something. Because I can hear it and I could feel what's being written. And... It will shock me. Like, I think I know what Swerve's going to say. It don't even be that. So, <laughs> like, I could be thinking, like, he said, heart, heartache. Well, heartbreak, heartbreak. So it's like heartache. And then spell ache at the end, not break. And you be like, oh, okay. <laughs> that might sound weird to y'all, but seriously, like, how many. I don't know how many, how many, how, how that would ever even happen. Because you got people walking around just watching folks go to lunch and brunch and do dumb shit like the card hooshins or whatever they be doing on that daily. That shit is not more exciting to me than 
to myself, right? Because <laughs> I don't know how many people want to watch me walk around the channel in the spirit all day. Sometimes I be having like, be like, because I be sitting next to somebody at a restaurant and be like, <laughs> spirit be like, <laughs> they laugh. <laughs> I promise you, like, for the first couple of months, I could not go to restaurants or nothing because it was just, I couldn't have conversation for a minute because it was like, it, my my channel would just be going. And it was just like, wow. Like, <laughs> anywho, we got to get into some prayer so we could get this reading out. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Father, the whole infinite, the infinite intelligence. Yes. Yo, man, the mind of the creator, our eternal Lord of all of creation. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your mind, for your breath of life, for the force that connects and binds us all. Thank you for allowing me to be used as a messenger as I surrender my vessel onto you for the work as heaven has come to earth, in earth, on earth, to do a work that I don't remember, I don't. And as I work to discern and to come into alignment, to open up my heart space so that I can come into alignment with you and fulfill my purpose. I pray that you give me these messages to help support that, to edify me, to edify me so that I may edify you. Let me be so full in that that we edify your wheat. We serve that out for their edification so that they may raise themselves up and edify you. Let us come together, gather, unity coming together, I feel. Feel, yes, over the principles of the message, the purpose, the work that you yourself has ordained and what you bring together in purpose and unity, Father. You keep it, you bind it, you lock it, let no man bring asunder. If we be in alignment to deliver this message at this time to your we feel, please, please, please brighten me up. Hold me in your bright white light, the hottest brightest, 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 brightest light, bright in my lumens, Father, brighten me up so that I may block out and blind anything that may come against me, anything that may come against me, anything and anything that may come to distort, cause disillusion, cause conflict, cause confusion, anything that would come against your word, your design, your perfect will. Please block it out and blind it out so that it be turned away and confused itself, Ashe. If we be in alignment, please, please, Father, seal me, grant us your Ashe, or give me further words that we must pray. Source says to this start start lifting raising rising up to go forward to go forward there's something in there that you're going to receive that you're going to get your heart desires. It feels like it's being offered or like you're asking for something. You're asking to receive something, to give something. Or is it an offer? A offer. Offer your heart. Offer your heart. Wheat, 
is for now now waiting to receive is this past or now start I feel balance like the balancing balancing yourself out balancing up like you're balancing yourself and it's raising you up like you started doing that is that right father yes 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 Ashe, Ashe, yes. Are we ready to go? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yes, sweet goodness. That was some heck of an energy. Sasha over here, she going crazy. She thought she was trying to get up on my leg and uh, on my lap, and now she's sitting right here. She can always feel it when... I'm in that channeling state. Yes. When the spirit is filled, my spirit is full. Yeah, 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 yeah. The energy. Feel. She can feel it. Yeah, yeah. Ashe. Yes. Which deck would you like to start? The Age of Light? Okay, well, we got Age of Light. This is our little bitty light worker card uh, deck. And the gloss on this deck is kind of like iridescent, as you can see. So sometimes the words are hard to read. So if you can see that, the Age of Light is the first um, card that's up. And then up underneath that, we have something that reversed. What are you being called to journey to? Is it was in reverse? So I don't know if y'all can see that. Where are you being called to journey to? Is what it says. And that one was in reverse. Like, you know, and that's what Father was saying. Like, to start raising yourself up. Like, raise your energy. Raise your vibrations. I feel like somebody finding my way back. Like, there is a, a journey that somebody wants to go on and embark on but they have not really taken any steps that they haven't and father was saying raise yourself to start moving to get into motion i feel raise yourself up because that's the first thing we were talking about uh sorry y'all we were uh talking about uh moving chain raising your vibrations but that starts you have to put it in motion right and to do that from a even a self and internal reflection state do you want this um is one of the first steps like you have to exercise faith father is pointing to the cut like have faith having faith to combat your fear is movement it is spiritual movement it is mental space movement and to move your thoughts and to dig into your faith is the first thing it is the first huge step to accomplish anything and i hear manifestation it is the first step in manifesting anything you have to believe it if you don't believe it and you don't feel it like really feel it in your body in your spirit it's very hard to pull that in. Did you want that? Yeah. Take a break. And it's in the reverse. What what or who is triggering you is in reverse too. Your mirror is in reverse and taking a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So, get off the treadmill. Are they taking a break? Yes. Or they're not, because it's in reverse. What am I reading? Clarity, please. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Source says to rest and reflect. Maybe you're not resting. 
because take a break is in reverse. The mirror is in reverse. So it's like, are you using this opportunity to really rest and reflect and look at self to digest, to discern, to break down everything that has occurred in your last cycle? Are you looking at what's triggering you? Have you identified it? Do you know it yet? Is there anything left in here? No. Have you identified it? Are you looking in the mirror? And that might be the thing, you know. We stopped on tune into the portal of your heart. Tune into the portal of your heart. If I can get this in here because this card is kind of raggedy. So you see devotion and then tune into the portal of your heart. Spirit says you want this to love that. Ooh, we haven't had the divine feminine or love out oracle out in a minute. Right here. We have, yeah, I am my authentic self in all circumstances. There's something in here that you're not looking in the mirror, Father says. The saint of authenticity. Father is calling you to be authentic about something, to be real about something. In this season, it's time to reflect, to do that deep dive into self. And again, discern the energy that you received over the last cycle. What were the lessons we see? What's triggering you? Um, what did you get out of that? You know? What did you get? What did you learn? And how is it preparing you to walk in your purpose, to go forward in your journey, to raise yourself up for edification onto self? So you can raise that up and get into your purpose, which is edification onto the source. And when you do that, you become so full that you can edify others. And they are able to raise that up. And that is like the back and forth, like the giving and receiving. And when you come together... Again, that unity level, you guys magnify that edification. You magnify the energy, and your purpose becomes galvanized as it, it as it uh, expands. I feel, Father is saying, it's going. You want anything else out of here? The bottom card. Turn it up. Okay. I see the light in my own darkness. I face my ego beliefs to feel free. I see the light in my own darkness. I face my ego and beliefs to feel free. So, Father puts that right on top of being authentic in all of your circumstances. Right here, no matter where I am, I am home. The most sacred sanctuary is found within me yes within me if you get yourself too good and become so full and you're serving that up to the most high like that's priority number one you will it will spill out and you will edify others and and in that work i feel father is saying as you serve that out, as you give it out, it will, again, that cycle of giving and receiving, it will call everything that you want on to you. It will bring your heart's desire to you as you do the work. And you will come together, I believe, in purpose. And that's what I feel this is. Stress. Father say, it's some stress involved. Father said, you know, uh lowliness like to raise your vibration to pull yourself up to learn what you have from the last cycle discern it break it down and that this is the season right to do that hamster wheel of life maybe you've been feeling like you're going through you know the similar situation over and over and over again the hamster wheel of life Father say, take a momentary break from the chaos of life. What did we just pull? We said, take a break. Father say, take a break. But you in the reverse. 
not you know not taking a break not resting i feel like just moving 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 like it's in reverse so the hamster will take a momentary break from the chaos take a break right now stop and see what you're doing stop to see what you're doing stop to discern stop and look before you mess around and make a a, a rush or a knee-jerk reaction decision that's really not good for your highest self it's, it's not in alignment with your heart's desire it's not in alignment with your true authenticity it's not in alignment with your spiritual purpose your spiritual design i feel it's something in there that you're not seeing what triggers you or you're ignoring the trigger i feel step off the hamster wheel for a moment give yourself some mental space we were saying is take a break to discern right take a deep breath and let the breath calm you get into some meditation early in the morning kind of stay in that meditative like consider winter space like a deep breath like we think about it because we breathe shadow it'd be like <sighs> but it's not that There is a space in that inhale, exhale. When you breathe out so deeply and you are able to breathe in fully and truly lift all of that air up, that good, fresh dose of creation of, that is coming in, that force. And it's a space of breathlessness. Like some people will just say, oh, you're just holding your breath. And that's, you know, technically true. But there is a space where the breath, you know, you, there, you don't need to do this, the inhale and exhale. The, the deeper you go, you can sit in the gap between breaths longer. You can sit in the space between the breath and just be. And in that space is, I feel it. Where's she at? All the way over there. Yeah, it is um, pure potentiality. It is the space where you call in you know, all of your deepest, dark, all of your desires. We got to get it because it's right here. Come on, baby, where you at? Ha, right here. On the top, one of the top, one of my stacks. It is... Applying the law of pure potentiality. That's what I feel. When we talk about being in the gap in the space between breaths, that's what that is. It says, I will get in touch with the field of pure potentiality by taking time each day to be silent, to just be. In that space between breaths, you are just being. You are just allowing yourself to be still quiet float like floating in the ether like limit like just engulfed almost i feel feeling the engulfment uh, in creation itself where all things like that primordial abyss space where everything can come true everything in the space of infinite possibilities and from that space when you it drops out from your heart and it's like you can it almost like the pool of like where you can drop a stone in and you see the ripple effect how it goes out but the the lake or whatever is so calm right and then you can get to that space and uh your desires get dropped in there that pure authenticity because you're taking a break you're resting and you're reflecting it's like the pool of reflection where you can see yourself and you can see yourself clearly the mirror 
you can see yourself. And when you see yourself, you can see what's truly in your heart. Not your emotion, not the charm, but you can see truly your heart, spirit heart, your spirit space. And that intention gets dropped in that pool of infinite possibility. And that is the space of pureness where everything develops. That is the space of your faith to drop it in the pool of faith. hope that came together hope it you got what I'm saying so I will also sit alone in silent meditation at least twice a day for approximately 30 minutes you can do however you want with practice on this thing five or say spread them out you ain't got to do a whole 30 minutes in the morning if you can it's good good do it but if you could do some minutes in the morning call that board meeting in sit with your spirit team call everybody together you the CEO of you, this or her organization, your spirit is. So get in touch with your highest spirit, hey, you know, and let them call in the board and y'all had a meeting, you know, get everybody lined up for the day. We got a journey through this thing and it's filled with a whole bunch of uncertainty and we really don't know. So we're going to put y'all in front of us, you know, and uh, go ahead and clear some stuff out. I mean, like the security team got to guard the door. We got to have human resources on staff. We got to get facilities together. We got to, you know, what is the business strategy? So we need that good counsel. You know, we need all of that at the table. And you lean into your experts and let them guide you. Because we know not. Again, we come into this as, you know. And we got to have the rememberer open up. So we need that team. And they know where in the you know, these Akashic records in your ancient library you got back here, they know which book to come and pull out. Only thing you doing is receiving information. This vessel is pull, pulling information into it. And you have to take it in so that it can be processed and discerned. Break it down. Get the, uh, change the data into information you know what i mean something that's usable something that's going to edify you so that you can be put in service serve it up to the most high you know it come full circle rock with your girl and i will take time each day to commune with nature being grounded and to silently witness the intelligence within every little thing creation speaks communing with nature we started when we in winter what is winter doing? There's an intelligence to that. Winter discerns all the information from the past. Those roots are taking in information. The trees, you know, them leaves them fell off. And many of them are at the base of the tree in nature. And uh, some of them are blown down the road. You know, you done spread it out, gave it out. That's carrying it forward. But also a lot of it is right around the base of the tree. The snow come down and breaks all that down back into the soil and the information that the leaves hold go back to the root. And the root get a chance to discern and to take that in and use to not only strengthen the network, right, because everything grows down. Those roots get strengthened and, and that's edification onto the tree. So it can do what in the spring? New leaves. And those new leaves are better prepared and adapt and evolved for the new cycle that's coming up based on what it learned from the old cycle. So are you digesting what you learned from the last cycle so that whatever you are preparing for digging in and strengthening those roots, deepening the networks and all of that stuff so that you can be stronger for the next go round, what you birth out will be adapt it. It will be evolved. It will be efficient. And it will be ready for service in the new new. So, whatever that happened from back when whatever, digest it so that you can use it. There's energy there. There's information there. And that brings you into your pure potentiality. The last one says, I will practice non-judgment. Today, I will, re I will begin my day with the statement, Today, I shall judge nothing that occurs. Father is saying, don't judge the past. Let it go. 
all of it is on to learning. It's on to learning and to edification. I don't judge the past. I don't judge myself. I don't judge them. I don't judge none of it. All of it is on to learning. And I can count all of it to the good because from that standpoint, I've learned. And so all of it works for my good. I can, again, use that information for my next cycle to birth anew. You ready? Self-care. You want this one? No. This. This one. This. This. This one. Do you want this one too? Okay. Let's see. We got cultivating happiness. So that is how we cultivate our happiness. We just talked about all of that. Cultivating happiness. To cultivate it. There's something that you have to work through. Think of a happy memory that brings a big smile to your face and focus on that memory by remembering where you were and who you were with. Sit in this happy moment for as long as you feel the need to. And that's, again, when you are in that space, the gap, the field of potentiality, right? In between breaths, right? Envision. That is where those drops come from. The intuition, what do you see in that space? It drops into that field, and that is the pool of where your heart desires manifest from. Yes. The lily pad, riding the waves of life. We have ups and downs. We do. It cycles. The lily pad of life. Let's give it to you one more time, just in case. Shut up. That's a challenge, Father said. Pretend you are, no, which one? Take a moment to listen to the sounds of water and sounds of birds singing softly. Float for a while and tune out of the world. Tune out of the world. Go into the gap, into the field of potentiality. And doing that in meditation, breathing, deep breathing meditation, breathing exercises will pull you out of this hamster wheel so that you can see. You can access the field of potentiality and exercise your faith. Father say that's the challenge. And put it right over seeing your authentic self in all circumstances throughout these cycles. Because it's a wheel. It's been going around. It's a mirror. What's reflecting? What is triggering you? What do you see when you look at your reflection in that field? When you can see yourself clearly? What decisions are you making that is causing you to remain on the wheel, I feel? Father says, take a break. Stop. Pull yourself back. Get into your authentic you. Maybe some things that are tied to ego. And ego is just simply that identification of the mind, right? Not your third eye, not your crown, not your heart space, not your spirit space. Just lives in your sacral. No, this is something that you are supposed to be rooted and grounded in that. This I'm talking about ego is like that identity I feel. Like you have a mask that that you identify with as self and father is saying to see what is triggering you to take a break and to dig in and discern that to break it down remember that no matter where you are your home the most sacred sanctuary is found within you The prophetess of pure, uh, pro the prophetess of true power. I call my power back from any and all places. Your power is your own. I am my own. Oh, okay. Well, back underneath the bottom. Thank you. This one, villain's deck, father say. So we have self care. Feel good about yourself. So if you are judging, Father says practice non-judgment. So don't judge. Feel good about you. This is the villains deck. It's a tarot, but it's like the Disney villains. So I love it. I think it's so super cute. 
get that make sure it's like do you want something in there this the sun something is being illuminated something is happening or you're challenged with what is being illuminated or you don't want it to come to light you know you want this this one six of swords guarded moving forward but protected moving forward but protected all the all the swords are in front of you as you move forward so something anything else something that you are uh that you it's something that you don't want to see that you're challenged with seeing and i see it's over the authentic self and uh releasing the ego or seeing you know the darkness in that the sun being in a challenge definitely speaks to you not really wanting to see it all of it like maybe you see part of it or only part of you the good things that you want to pay attention to but not anything else and do you want the energy out of here turn this over and now okay and you definitely are moving forward guarded Maybe you are still guarding some things, guarding justifications, guarding, you know, um, your own thought process, your own mindset, I feel. And it is keeping you on this hamster wheel of life. The way that you're moving forward with this mindset is keeping you on the hot hamster wheel. Yeah. And Father's saying, take a break from that. Take a break. It's something that goes here. Which deck? This one? Is it something in here? No. What's here? Can you tell me? No, but something happened back here. It's in there. Yes. Do you want to speak about it? No. So something is in the tarot that ha that's kind of triggered this whole thing. But Father won't tell me what it is. Maybe we'll sit and whenever it's ready to come out, it'll come out. Maybe that's what you don't want to look at. You don't want to look at all of what happened in the past or how you're looking at it. It's only half sight. Like you're not seeing all of it. And I feel like, do you want this? This one. Okay. I feel like it's something in there that you don't want to look at. Like it's a part of it that you refuse to look at. Is, did I get the card? No. Source says to see yourself, but it's chaos, like to, to look at you, to look at your emotions, to your emotions are a guidance system, you know, so whatever is in there is guiding you to look at something, to discern it, to break it down, analyze it so that you can think, you can get your thoughts together because your emotions are not your thoughts. Yeah, you missing somebody. It says, I miss hearing your voice. I miss hearing your voice. That's what's over there. It's um, and that's what I was saying. Gotta find my way back, way back to you, baby. Gotta find my way back, way back to you, baby. That's what I hear. Yeah, and it's something in that that if that. Is not, I don't hear full accountability. It's something in here that you are refusing to see. And whatever this thing is that's wrapped up in your identity, I feel like that darkness, I see the darkness in myself, right? And being authentic is something in that. It's something in that that needs to be tweaked, beloved. It is something that you need to put a light on, to shine a light on. Like the sun needs, to, it's trying to illuminate you. For that thing to get you off of the hamster wheel. It's something that happened. Because there's something. And I feel Six of Swords is usually going forward with protection. Like, But I feel like 
almost blocked from going forward because the swords are in front of her like she can't walk through it right so you may not be able to go forward right now because you are stuck on the hamster wheel round and around and around and these swords are all different each one of these swords are different so you may be dealing with a whole couple of issues uh, and I can see what one of them is couple of them one is lust sexual tension that's lust this one right here in a reverse I am in a committed relationship so maybe you're coming out of something because it's reversed you're not in a committed relationship right and this one right here I am not over you but it's in reverse that I would say it's a challenge going forward. It fell out reverse, but Father pulled the energy and the challenge. Do you want any one of these? Anything else in here? No. Any last energy for the week? Nope. On the bottom was, I don't know if you feel the same. That is, your intellect arouses me. So maybe... You know, if you are attracted to somebody's mind or, you know, it's just, it's calling you to come out of just a lustful type of state and into something that's more real, something more grounded, something that's going to last. Like, intellect, will you ever make things right? Something. Do you want this? This one, the dream cards. Dream cards are last. So, question is, will you ever make things right? You know, getting off of the hamster wheel. Taking a momentary break so that you can make things right. I feel. That's what Bob is saying. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What you want to know, what you want to know. Go into some meditation. Find out what your heart is, what is really in your heart. Discern. Do you want this? This? No. This one. This? Okay. Find out what's... Oops. I throw cards everywhere, y'all. Do you want anything in here? Any of these? All of them? None of them? None of them? No, 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 no. Do you want to look at this? Okay. Ah! Uh, leave that up there just for a few. You want to take a little pause so you can read it? I know it's backwards. kind of hard to read when it's backwards. But Father said, what makes your heart beat faster? I miss hearing your voice. Uh, Father said, this is what makes your heart beat faster. You missing somebody. What makes your heart beat faster? Believe the signals your heart sends you. When you learn to listen to your heart. Uh, when you learn to listen to your heart. I am my own authentic self in all circumstances that ego right that ego seeing the darkness when you learn to listen to your heart you'll begin to follow it be curious in your everyday life react with interest to every new everything new life presents to you so maybe something will be presented six of swords moving forward so you're moving forward but you're blocked by something and i think the slowing down the blocking like you have to be careful in how you move forward because of this cycle that you're con continuously to repeat to take a break from that but to just kind of also again father said in the beginning to raise your vibrations so maybe you need to start seeing things with a different eye you know, a different eye, that faith. When you sit in a gap, you can see things different. What do you really see with your heart's mind, with your heart's eye? What do you see, beloved? Which one? This one. Don't, don't do as you planned. Father say, don't do as you planned. Do what you feel. Do what you feel is right in your heart. 
We were just saying that. Practice listening to your heart again and again. Learn its language. Challenge. Right over authentic self. Anything else? I stated that. Whew. Is there an energy? No. Don't do as you planned. Do what feels right in your heart. Practice listening to your heart again and again. Learn its language. Hamster wheel. Take a break right now to stop what you're doing and close your eyes. Step off of the hamster wheel for a moment. Give yourself some mental space. Take a deep breath in and let the breath calm you. Shay. So in my mind, as I took my breath and I held and just sat in the gap, right, I could feel pretty much the weightlessness of my spirit, right? Feeling just being rocked in the rhythm of that space, right? Pure potentiality. And as I'm in that space, I let the thoughts of my heart come forward and I could hear peace. I could hear provision. I can hear prosperity. I can hear security. I can hear all of those things. And as they were dropping into this space, not holding on to anything, not, you know, just hard fixed on a certain image, just letting it come up naturally. And as it comes up, it drops. I lend it over. It just Offer it. Offer it over into the space. Into the space. And then you trust in your faith that what you've entered into that space, into that field of possibility, pure potentiality, will come to you. It will come. It will come. And just hold your peace. Yes. Hold your peace. What makes your heart beat faster is something from back here. But there's some things to clean up. Sexual tension. That's lust. You know, it's something to hold your composure. To hold your essence, right? Um, releasing oneself and because of uh, textual, sexual tension. Um, it's a, it's a, not only is it a heavy release of energy... But especially for my mask, for my bras, you know what I mean? It's something to be said when you talk about uh, tantric meditation, right? And to get into that uh, and have a spiritual, a deep spiritual connection, you have to be able to hold and to master, master your member, I hear Father say. Master your member. This member, yes, speaks, that root speaks, that primal grounding root, like in even your uh, sacral chakra with that intimacy and, you know, that root, that animalistic, like, you know, fundamental kind of thing. But to raise yourself above that, right, your solar plexus with the sun that's here. Ooh, Father, you're so good. Raise yourself from that and into your solar plexus and digest what is driving those root and uh, lower level tendencies. 
yes, we do need to connect from a sensual uh, space, but to do that from a place that is enlightened, that it is purposeful, that it is spiritually connected, because you have a sentiment for something that makes your heart beat faster, but there's a challenge with the sexual tension that is here. I feel and I hear the word lust, and that is a part of your cycle. It could be what's having you repeat, repeat, repeat the same lessons. The ability to take a break and to mirror, to look into your mirror with these two little cards right here. Mirror and take a break. If you can, if I can get any of that in here in the shot, is a part of the thing. And then, of course, we see inner temple, devotion, tuning into the portal of your heart. We had tuning into the portal of your heart. I know this light is like some kind of way to get that in there. All of it has been about your heart space. Clearing out that energy, Father said, leave that up. I'm not over you. Not in a committed relationship. I feel the gap, the space. I see the light in my own darkness. I face my ego beliefs to feel free. And authenticity, these two. So to call in that which makes your heart beat like that, you're going to have to work through these lower levels and raise yourself up. Raise yourself up. Again, it's highly important. I mean, it's a lot of videos on YouTube to talk about, especially um, you, not just men, but the ability to be abstinent for a while, just for a little bit so that you can see, right? It gives you clarity in a way that I don't think you find when you are releasing constantly, right? You don't, because releasing puts you in a euphoric state. It's a way of pacifying or soothing self to come to release the pacifier like a baby and you, they mature. And uh, if you allow them to stay on a pacifier or a bottle too long, it destroys their teeth, right? It, it's not good. So to be in a state where you can pacify in the spirit, in the self, without, you can hold your composure, right? You become spiritually uh, content, spiritually stable, so that uh, you can be composed and that helps you with this your third eye activation so that you can see so that you can see so that you can balance balance yourself out I feel yes anything else do as you don't do as you planned father said don't do as you're planned do what your heart feels. And that's a challenge because you need to unlock your heart. You know, it could be, yeah, something that you need to have the light sign on. Or it's something that you think is, you know, wonderful or you know it. You, 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 I feel enlightenment, you know, like to see what is going on in self so that you can come off of this hamster wheel see what's going on in you so you can come off of it yeah anything else father no did we get it all out yeah any last thing no 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 but you definitely are moving forward in a very guarded way but while you are doing that again make sure you're being authentic you are digging into yourself you are reviewing and going over your last season digesting that energy and father is suggesting maybe just hold your composure for a little while you know what I mean sit in that space and see you know 
the clarity that comes in, the ability to access the field of potentiality, the ability to uh, really discern. You may be making some plans, and Father says, don't do as you're planning, but do what your heart feels like and learn the language of your heart. And to come away from to get to the language of your heart and your mind space, your heart chakra is up here. If you are operating from down here, then you may not be leaning into the language of your heart. You are leaning into the language of your root. And these two speak two different languages, beloved. Two different languages. Yeah, we talk about love languages all the time. I had a beloved that was talking about love languages. They were. And they were talking about... I need to be touched. Okay, touch. Okay. So, come on and do it. And let it touch. <laughs> but sometimes you need to not touch. You need to stay composed and come away from that root to raise your vibration. Have it discerned. What is it going on? Work this out in your soul or that sun. Is it right there? blockage moving forward blocked but you need to step into the light move into the light or maybe you cautiously move it into the light i'm not for sure this light has got you moving cautious because it was challenged you challenged with something beloved but father say step into that solar the discern it break this down whatever this root and this has been driving you to see it Illuminate it, break it down, digest it so that you can get into your heart space. Because from this space, it's going to be, that's what you want. That's what you desire, right? So don't do what you're planning on doing. But listen to what your heart say. Learn the language of your heart. And in order to learn the language of your heart, you have to raise yourself up from this root area, from this sacral, just from that. You know, you may be getting in touch with your spirit self, but you still have to raise that up and discern it, break it down, digest it, have that energy, you know, transmuted so that you can get into your heart and you can manifest from here. Yes. With stability. Yes. Caution. Caution going forward. Six of swords blocking, moving forward. Not just protection, but using caution 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 okay so this is it this is the reading this is your girl it from tears and we to roll show we are showing up never know what you gonna get my we yeah because somebody might be accustomed to getting it i do they might be but they also trying to gotta find my way back way back because they missing somebody's voice yeah yeah, and your heart wants to do something very different than what you have planned on doing and father say Look in the mirror, take a break, reflect, transmute, get into that solo, raise your energy, raise your composure, and sit with you and your essence in that space. And from there, you will call in any and everything, okay? So we're going to tell you that we love you, because we do. We love you, we love you, we love you just like we love us, the eternal Lord of all of creation, the infinite intelligence, and the breath of life. Yes, thank you so much, but yes. To the next now, y'all. We'll call this an ashe. Mm -hmm.